So let's very quickly look at how you can use iMindMap for creating your to-do list. So what I suggest you do is you create a template that covers the main areas that you have to deal with on a daily basis. So typically, you might find yourself uh, making lots of telephone calls, uh, having meetings, going on errands, uh, dealing with emails and specific emails, and you probably have a couple of projects, probably more than a couple of projects that you are working on right now. So on a daily basis, you might take a format like this, and all you do is have this as a standard to-do list template, and then simply add on to it the various telephone calls that you are going to make on this branch, and then add on to it the various meetings that you have with specific individuals. You might want to link perhaps to any documents you're going to be referring to uh, in those meetings from these branches. And I can show you how to do that in another video on errands. You might list the different errands you've got to do during the day, uh, emails, the specific emails you have to write during the day, and maybe some specific activities that you want to do for each of your main projects. So simply, you just add them onto the branches. And it's very easy just to add the new branches. Uh, let me just do that again to add new branches for the specifics that you want. This is one way that you could create a to-do list by having that template and just adding to it. You can also just print this off and just do it manually. Uh, that's another way of doing it, but this is the way you do it in the software. Another thing you could do, and this uh, could be looking at a particular day, this could be looking at a particular week. If you need to do things on specific days, you might want to have a template like this, where for the week you would identify exactly what you need to do on what particular day. So for example, on Tuesday you might have to do something specific, on Wednesday or Thursday something specific, and you just add in there the various activities that you would have to do. And then as you go through the week, you simply just cross them off or delete them from the branch. So it is as simple as that. So the two ways are taking a week and planning ahead what you have to do or doing via specific activities. So that's just ways you can use iMyMap to create your to-do lists. That was another tip, trick or technique for getting the most from Buzan's iMyMap from iMyMap user at www.imindmapuser.com. If you don't have a copy of the software, simply click on the link below this video right now to get your free 7-day trial.